back this a little bit. There we go. Uh, yeah. Play it. Hey guys, Adam Savage here in my cave. Uh, I am not a doctor, nor have I ever played one on television, but I would like to talk to you today about syringes. Uh, specifically because I want to show you an old theater technique that I have used in the past that I realize is still relevant and still has uh, some meat on its bone. So I wanted to share it with you. Uh, this is a humble 150 cc syringe. I bought a package of I bought four of these on, I bought packages of four of these on eBay for about 12 bucks. That is, that's actually a great price for these. They haven't always been so easily available. Um, and we are going to use a pair of these syringes today to do a little bit of poor man's hydraulics. Uh, because in theater, you're never working with any kind of substantive budget, right? You're always you know, you're trying to build everything for 40 bucks uh, and you have no time. And sometimes you need to make things operate remotely. Like you may have a set piece in which something falls off a wall or something lifts up by itself. And this can be a challenge for uh, theater technicians who don't necessarily uh, have the ability or the budget to run extensive cabling systems or stepper motor systems. And what I'm gonna show is a method of remote activation that has a tremendous amount of strength and a cost that is so low, it's hilarious. I think the total materials cost for this is about four bucks, seriously. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take uh, two of these syringes, we're gonna join them with uh, some uh, PVC hose, and we're gonna fill them with water, and I'm gonna show you what they can do. It is best to get a type of PVC hose that's a little stiffer. You don't want the stuff that's really easy to squeeze with your fingers, and I'll explain that why in a little bit. You really want all the bubbles out for this. You really want all the bubbles out. Hydraulics work because water is very uncompressible uh, and air is highly compressible. So hydraulics for, uh, for strength and for timing, for strength specifically, hydraulics win uh, over, over pneumatics. I know there are exceptions to that rule. Okay, so now I have, uh, let's see here, we're gonna put this here. Actually, Norm, if you'll hold that, just, uh, just, the, just the, yeah, there you go, just that part. Okay, so you can see what's about to happen. I'm gonna push on this and this is going to rise and that is a hydraulic actuator. That is a $4 hydraulic actuator. And if you'd like to know how much strength you have, Norm, I want you to push against me, you ready? That is, Norm can't push back against this. You, you can't quite lift a person with this, but we've powered, thank you, sir. We've powered angel wings for a costume on set using uh, two pairs of these in opposition to each other. And they made wings slowly pulse in this beautiful way on stage. Um, years ago, one of the guys that taught me a lot of my early theater arts, Ernie Ernstrom, told me about having used a rig like this for Agnes of God. And in the play Agnes of God, at one point Agnes, the nun, um, begins bleeding spontaneously from the five wounds and famously, specifically from the stigmata on her hands. And she just, she goes like this and begins to bleed. And the way they did it was they had 450 cc syringes filled with fake blood in a backpack she wore in her habit. And it had a spring release so that when she extended her arms all the way, it pulled a pin that allowed a spring to slowly compress the syringes and it let her bleed on stage. It was absolutely uh, 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 upsetting in just the right way. Uh, so yeah, this is one of my favorite techniques. We ended up using this the first time I did Shark Week because we needed an underwater actuator for popping a balloon full of, I think, urine to see if sharks react to the smell of urine. And we needed a we didn't want to use an electrical thing because sharks actually sense electrical fields. We didn't want to use a, a heavy duty mechanical thing because we didn't want to add any noise or any uh, other kind of bias to the experiment. And I was like, do you guys have some syringes and Tygon tubing? And they did, and we made this remote actuator. I was able to be like 50 feet away, right? This works from seven feet or 75 feet, doesn't matter. You can also set this up with a lever and get a lot more mechanical advantage on the operation of this, and you can use it as, as a just a perfect remote actuator. And again, five minutes to set up, 
four bucks. If you are going to use this with a lot of force, I'd recommend really working to get a, a, a positive grip up here. But for the most part, as long as you have a good press fit and you're monitoring it, yeah, there you go. Uh, if you've got other things you've used syringes like this for, I'd love to know about them. Uh, and or if this ends up being useful to you in a mechanical arrangement that you hadn't thought about, I would love to hear about it in the comments. Thank you guys for joining for me for this. I know this was a quickie, but I really, I've been wanting to share this with you forever. All right. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time.